let's talk about chin rest products. What are they and why are they good to train? So a chin rest is basically where we have the palm, oh my word, we have the palm of our hand and our dog puts their chin in our uh, palm. And these are really, really good to train because we can start to get more complex tricks from that behavior. And it's also really good for um, husbandry. So if we go to the vets, then we can keep our dog still by teaching this hand, this chin rest, and they stay still for the vets. So let's go into how we're going to train it. First of all, we need some treats and we need a willing dog. I'm going to stand up for this. We say stand up. I'm going to kneel for this. Right. So kneeling, not standing up. So all we're going to do is have the palm of our hand in kind of a cupped position because we want the chin to be in that, um, in the palm of our hand in kind of a cupped way, which is just a bit nicer than being out flat. And we just want to put our hands out and we want to approximate any time our dog goes near the palm of our hand. It doesn't matter how it is to start with, we just want them to make some kind of connection that this hand is going to bring something good. So all I'm going to do is put my palm out. Good. So he's made some connection to it. He kind of brushed his head over it. Good. Because my palm is flat and not like this, he's trying to find a way that he can do something with my hand. And that naturally just becomes him putting his palm, his palm, his um, chin, good, in my palm. Good. So I'm also going to mark any time that he's just close to it. Good. Put the treats on the floor just because, good. I don't have a great deal of room. I'm just trying to reset him. Good. So that you can see exactly what is going on for him. Good. So we haven't got any duration at the moment. Good. All I'm doing is just marking. Good. When he's getting close to it. Good. Once your dog is doing this quite nicely. Good. So he's targeting the palm of my hand. Good. With his chin really well. We want to start to add some duration in. So generally he's been doing that and then looking good, looking back at me and getting the reward. Good. So all I'm going to do is wait for him to do two of these. Good. So you can see he goes to it, looks back at me, I wait. Good. And then he gets the reward the second time he hits it. We can then do three. Good. And the more pecs that we do, good. The more he's staying with my hand and just moving his head now. And eventually, we're going to get a duration out of this. Can you go on? So, we're going to go into four pecs. Good. Now, we've got a little duration there, so I'm going to abandon the pecs and go straight into market. Good. Another duration. He's turning his head the other way there. Good. So, it's messy at the moment. Good. But we're starting to get there. He's looking at the treats there. Good. Now, you can see he's really holding, and we're getting a duration and not pecs anymore. So once we have, good, that duration and no pecs, we can start to have that duration going longer and longer. Good. Good. You don't make things easy for the camera, do you? Come on this way. Good boy. Good. And you can see him actually lean into that one there. So now we really know that he's understanding that this is to lean into it or just to almost spill the treats over. Good. 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 Okay. Good. So now we're starting to put some duration in. Let me just get over here a little bit. Good. Good. nose on. I want him to be a bit straighter. Good. Can we just face the camera instead of being with our back to the camera? Good. And I'm just going to wait for him to settle into it. Good. Now that we've had some nice um, chin restorations, I can wait a little bit for him to settle into what I want. Good. So now we can see that he's actually starting to have a duration on that. Oh, don't trip that over. Good. He's still a little bit messy because he's a little bit chaotic anyway. Good. And he's really putting his head back into the palm of my hand. Good. And we can start to build our duration up. Now, when we're building duration up, good. We want to make sure that we're having a scalar method. So sometimes, good, it'll be 
you a short one. Sometimes I'll ask him for a long one. Good. And we're going to change it around so they don't really know when that food is coming. Good. Good. And then we can start to build that up slowly to have, good, a longer hand rest, a chin rest even. Good. for that one. And we're just going to keep on going with that scalar method. Good. To change that, um, change it around so that sometimes we have a long, good, a long weight, sometimes we have a short weight. And we can slowly have a longer and longer chin rest. Good. Now we're not going to push our dogs too quickly. We're going to go at their own pace. Good. And make sure it's comfortable for them. Their head is in a comfortable position. So I think he likes his head a little bit lower. Good. Good. So we can start to make that duration longer and longer until we have a nice long chin rest. Good. Good. Now you can name it at this point if you want to. I tend to just have the hand signal um, and the hand position as the point of reference for the dog. But you can name it if you want to at this point. If you wanted to, we're just going to name it when they're in position. Good. 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 So that was your chin rest. Hopefully that video was useful to you and uh, good luck.